In this lecture, we will continue our journey with the electron in the cathode ray tube. Last time, we analyzed the electron motion between the deflection plates, which is the second stage of the cathode ray tube. We deduct four equations that determine the displacement in x and y directions and the velocity components in x and y directions. And we said that in this lecture, we, show, we will show or determine the motion equation that relates x and y of the electron inside the cathodic tube in stage 2 between the deflection plates. Okay, how we get this? How we get an equation that relates x and y coordinates of the electron? Between the deflection plates, x can be determined using this equation. And y can be determined using this equation. So how can we detect a new equation that relates x and y only without the, without the time? Simply square this equation, equation number one. So t square will be equal to x square multiplied by the mass of the electron over 2 QE VA. We move t2 from this equation, equation number two, and put this term in the of it. We have this new equation that relates y and x, which is y equal to some constant multiplied by x squared. This equation is a parabolic equation, which is drawn like this. According to the constant, it may be like this, or this, or this. So, between the deflection plates, the electron will move according to some proper equation. And then according to the value of the deflection voltage, it may be like this, or this. And in these two, two cases, the electron will, move, will leave the deflection plates and go to the screen. But maybe the deflection, the deflection voltage is not a lot higher, so it can even hit the deflection plates and never go out these deflection plates. Okay, how about these two curves in which the electron could successfully leave the deflection plates? In this case, the electron will head towards the screen which is stage number 3 and we want to know the equation of the motion of the electron in this stage as we see here it will be a straight line and shortly we will prove this we will prove that this uh, course or this trajectory of the electron will be a straight line equation ok how we deduct, the, deduct this? In this region, there is no external force. There is no electric field, either in y or x direction. So, both forces in x and y direction is equal to zero. So, there is no acceleration. No acceleration means that the velocity of the electron will continue constant. In this region, the electron have two components for the, for the velocity. One in x direction, it, and it was constant, and another in y direction. At this point, the electron will have two components for the velocity also. This is the component in x direction, and another one in y direction, but we should substitute this time here by the time taken from this point to this point. So, how can we determine the velocity in y direction at this point? We should know first the time taken by the electron to make a journey from this point to this point. We know that in this stage, x equal to v not x multiplied by the time. When the electron reach this point, this means that it takes L, which is 
the lens of the deflection plate. Distance. So substituting x here by L small, so L small equal to minus x by TL, which is the time taken by the electron to reach this point from this point. So TL equal to L over minus x. So we now know that at this point, the electron takes time equal to L over minus x. To, so to know the velocity at this point in y direction, just substitute this time by TL, L over minus x. So now we know that at this point, the electron have a velocity component x direction determined by this equation and a velocity in y direction determined by this equation. Since there is no electric field here, either in y or x direction, the electron will preserve these two velocity components in its journey, in its journey to the screen. Okay, how we know this, this is a displacement taken done by the electron in x and y direction? Simply, we know that the velocity is a derivative of the distance. So to know the displacement in x, we know that vx equal to the derivative of x by t. And this velocity is equal to constant, v not x. Taking the integration of both sides, so x equal to v not x t plus a constant c1. Again, by assuming that the point at which the electron will leave the deflection plate and enter the stage 3 region is the point of the origin. So this is the origin now. This is the beginning of the x and y axis. So at equal to x at t equal to 0, x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. So c1 will, will be equal to 0 y. How we know the displacement in y direction? Simply, we know that the velocity vy, which is constant, v not y, is equal to dy by dt. Integrating both sides, so y equal to v not y, t plus c2, at t equal to 0, the electron was here at the origin, so y equal to 0, so c2 equal to 0. From this equation, t equal to x over v not x. Remove t from here and put x over v not x. So y equal to v not y over v not x multiplied by x. v not y determined by this equation.